Oh my gosh. Come on, dude. Today's tips and tricks video is going to be on Scatty. So we're going to be going through the best tips and tricks, the best team comps, as well as the best maps to be playing this hero on. As always, leave your comments in the comment section down below of some tips you want to share with all of us on how to play Scatty so we can learn how to get better with her together. But without further ado, let's dive right into this. So tip number one, crosshair placement is key. You need headshots. This one is very, very big because Scatty really only has seven shots in her chamber. If you're aiming at the chest shot level, it will take you even at the max level four to five shots to kill your enemies. And that is not good when you're playing as a Scatty. I see a lot of people that are used to aiming at chest level, which isn't necessarily a bad thing with all of these other fully automatic weapon heroes. But with Scatty... Aim your crosshair always at head level so you can get all of those big damage shots. And as you get to level 10, those amp shots are going to come in and really turn a lot of fights. The next tip is to utilize the right hand peak and master peak shots. This works with whether or not you're doing the right hand peak, a left hand side peak, or even doing a jump shot peak. But the benefit of playing as Scatty and utilizing all of those corners and head glitches is the fact that nobody can out trade her in those fights. There's going to be some special scenarios. Maybe you're going up against an Osas or a Hua Ling. But the thing is, even with those heroes, it'll be very hard to out trade you if they don't know you're going for the peak shot. But for the rest of the field, if you jump and peak someone and hit them with a quick headshot, you will be doing upwards of 2000 plus damage. While if they land, let's say one shot on you because they hit you with a peak shot, they will only do somewhere around 200 to 300 damage. So you can really utilize this to your advantage. Now let's talk about her active ability. My first tip for this one here is to pretend your spider web is just another shot in the chamber. There is pretty much no excuse for you to miss a scatty active ability unless it gets blocked by like an enemy shield or something like that because the active ability is pretty much just a wider AoE shot of your pistol so you should always be running around as if you're gonna hit some headshots or body shots with the pistol and then while doing that click on your ability you will always land your spider webs try not to get distracted by the fact that it is an active ability and you'll be able to hit this 100 of the time another thing that you want to do is use your web on high priority targets this will include either tanks or mobility characters what I mean by this is a majority of the characters in the game, you should already be able to hit them, you know, two to three shots and kill them immediately. So by saving your spider web for those victors, the Jabalis, the Rubies, really catching them and locking them down so you can line up those headshots will allow you to two to three shot even some of the tankiest heroes in the game, especially when you have that am shot ability. The only other time you're not going to be using this on the tank is when you're using it for high priority targets like the Aletta, Johnny Jet, Shell, pretty much any of those characters that have super mobility that includes Diggy because locking them down into place is not going to let them use their ability. I could be wrong with this, but I'm pretty sure Aletta can still pop her ultimate while in the spider web. So if she does that, then make sure you just continue to use your shoot button because obviously, even though she is invisible, she is still trapped in, in the same spot with the spider web. So you should still be able to kill her without her being able to get away. Another fun tip is that against a Diggy, you can still use that spider web if she is in shark form and that'll pull her out of shark form, leave her stuck in the same place. And because she is a shotgun hero, it will then be very easy to kill her after that. And then my final tip with the active ability is to use your web to dodge abilities and that it also works mid air. This is like the main thing that I use Scatty spider web for. I feel like when you become a very good Scatty player, a lot of the time you won't need to use your spider web to lock people down still very useful against those high priority targets but even against the tanks i feel like if you can hit those headshots saving your active ability for dodging abilities let's say a gloria throws an ultimate down on you and you're slowed or somebody else like source tries to like trap you or you get caught in like a judix fireball by using that spider web and dodging it it shoots you pretty far back you should be able to manipulate and dodge a lot of abilities for her ultimate, I do have two tips. Tip number one is to aim your ultimate at the neck level. And what I mean by this is I see way too many scatties because of that bad crosshair placement, you know, aiming at the feet, 
looking at the ground. So whenever they get into a fight and they get ready to throw their ultimate, they'll just throw it straight at the foot level or even like the midsection level. But the reason why this is pretty bad and why you want to avoid doing this is as you climb higher up into the game, all of the really good players will be able to tell. Obviously, anybody that plays this game for like more than a couple days can tell when Scabby's charging up that ultimate. It's very easy to telegraph. And if you aim it at the foot level, all of the players are going to jump. They'll be able to jump straight over that ultimate. You're standing there with your guitar out playing the tunes and they're able to just laser you down after that. So make sure you aim that for the neck level and you will always hit those ultimates and then one more thing with that is to never alt at one hp this is a very easy way to lose your ultimate and find zero value now the reason you want to avoid doing this is although our ultimate does give you all of this tanky shield by using it at one hp the targets are going to you know first of all they're going to try to jump your ultimate but while they're trying to jump it they're going to be aiming their crosshair at you and shooting you so they'll be doing a lot of damage to your shields but the second she's about to let go of the ultimate the shields disappear you're back to one hp and they'll land a shot you've wasted your ultimate now and you're dead so make sure you avoid doing that for the best team comps the really good thing about scatty is that she fits into a lot of different team styles but the two team comps that i suggest are either going to be the tank healer scatty or tank smg scatty so for the specific players if you're going the tank healer scatty route i'd go with the jabali the iris and the scatty this team comp is very good especially for the closer range maps because all of you guys are going to be hugging each other you'll be putting out crazy damage jabali will be able to block and the iris will be able to keep all of you guys alive the entire time but on those longer range maps where ruby performs better than jabali i would rather go with the ruby aletta and the scatty when you're running that smg hero because once again with smg heroes their whole job they're going to be flanking they'll be out of the scene coming from different angles so you guys will be stuck in 2v3s while they set up those plays so it's very crucial that your tank is somebody that can stay alive give you that 2v3 but still feel like you're in a 3v3 situation because of all of the shields that you have with the ruby now if you are a super super skilled niche scatty and you want to go for something crazy another really good team comp would be a tank sniper in scatty because the same way ruby can you know hold it down and make it feel like a 2v3 is the same way you can pull that off but if your sniper is not good this is dangerous right because if, if if she or he starts missing shots and you're missing shots now the ruby's just all alone but if you want to run like a ruby osas or hualing and scatty go for it if you play that comp really well and you guys are all very good it'll be very difficult for the opponents to stop you when it comes down to her best maps and game modes the thing with scatty as well as all of the other mid-range heroes in this game is there is not a single map that she is bad on it's not about the maps it's about the skill of the individual character if you are unable to land a majority of headshots unable to hit those shots unable to find valuable ultimates then you will not be a, a good scatty player and there's not a single map in this game that will save you if you can't hit those shots but on the flip side if you are a good scatty player finding all of that value you will be very very good in every single one of these maps the only time it gets difficult and where things can be dicey are in let's say like payload race or not race payload escort if you're looking at the picks you know everybody's picking their characters and they have a super long range hero and you choose scatty as the super long range hero to counter that you've now put yourself in a sticky situation especially if you're playing in solo queue because you won't be able to coordinate with your teammates because in that situation you guys need to be a unit and moving as a pack of three Otherwise, if you try to out trade like an Osas, a Hualing, even a Judix, a Hunter, you will get beamed down all day long because they have longer range. They'll be able to land more damage and you'll just be stuck there doing nothing. So be very careful when choosing your team comps. Other than that, though, you can play Scatty on every single one of these maps and in every single one of these game modes. Without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay. All right, so here we go. Let's see here in the free for who we got Diggy and Hunter. Just like the tip I told you guys earlier, huh? You can stick her. You can stick her out of that shark all day long. And you know exactly what she's going to try to do to you, so. Not challenging that. Know your, know your fights. Triple kill. 
What a headshot. Oh yeah, you need them hit. I'm telling you, as a scatty, you need them. You need them, my man. You need them. Ow, we, bro. He's sitting up top. I was like, whoa. Bro, when you get bursted down by a hunter, it's just so much damage. It literally feels like he got sniped. But now we know where he's playing, so. Even then, I shouldn't be taking this fight. It's not a good one. Not from that far away, anyways. He just does way too much, like, sustain damage. That's more of my range against the hunter. So we are going up against an Osas. That always makes life difficult, to say the least, on this payload. How the foul you're not dead is unreal. We never killed Osas, so I don't know where he is. Pretty sure I hear him under me. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. I'm not even peeking anymore. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> I was about to say, surely the payload breaks the, uh, the grenade, like, surely. Y'all gonna push this? Cool, cool. I've never even been in this room. I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. Doesn't help me out, though. I thought I could sneak a corner or something. Oh, man. Let's go, bro. This is such a good game. I'm going to work a flank here.
approaching. It's not a smart approaching. challenge, to be fair. Let's go. GG's, baby. Um, uh, it's probably like, uh, I can chew through a victor pretty, pretty good, but a letter is going to be toxic to keep track of. And Sindri is just always annoying. Oh my gosh. Been at 1 HP for like half the game. Good stuff though. Teammates holding it down. Stun through a wall? Yep. Locking down an Aletta is the most satisfying thing. She's the one you want. If I can keep on locking her down. Like, locking down Victor is helpful because we can chew through him, but it's like... Aletta's hard. I mean, she's hard to lock down. Don't get me wrong. She can dodge that with ease. He's flanking. I need to make sure I hit this spider web. Shoot. Yeah, I did good there. I ain't gonna lie. That's about as good as I can do. I just... I mean, I think they killed Gloria. Loki, I, I mean... Mm. Victor should be able to clean up here, I think. I almost wanted to argue I shouldn't have used ultimate, but it was a very good ultimate if I had anybody to back that up. Sindri always playing that side of the map. Like cakewalk locking down that Aletta. Oh, I missed against a victor, bro. I should, I should quit the game. It's a good ultimate to make up for it, though. Very good ultimate to make up for it. They get one final push here. Your team is taking the objective. Yeah, I mean, Aletta's going for a good flank too. I just don't know where we're, we're going for a counter flank, it looks like. I don't know why when we have the objective though, but I guess I respect it. Let's see if Victor can make something happen. She doesn't even get one either. That's tough. Take my one, fall back, wait for the team. Man, I played a game. I played his game. Oh. Got scanned by Mark. It's a good peek with the ultimate right there. I'm not walking in on a Gloria's right hand peek though. I promise you that. I can maybe play my teammate. Play off his contact. Just like that. But other than that, I'm not walking into it.
She's just sitting on that. <laughs> Eventually, you gotta come out. Your team's gonna need. Is gonna lose. Jump shots. Harder for them to hit. You hit harder than they do. They literally have to track you perfectly. Your team is halfway to victory. Whoa, I didn't get behind that wall in time. Okay. I definitely stuck her with the uh, with the spider web, but I didn't get behind the wall as, as quick as I thought I could have. All good. I'm not walking in there. I literally see her. Be like a scan, like, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know that this lands. It does. Oh, what a good ultimate, bro! I was like, I thought I, I almost thought I aimed a little bit too high there. It was literally headshot level, but it hit both of them. Ooh, I'm messing that up every time. I gotta just grab the heal then. I'm not gonna repeat that no more. Because that's happened twice now. I need to make the adjustment. A little 2700 banger on the way down. I'm an idiot. I'm saying, can I get a scan as if he can scan them? I'm so used to playing with hunters. Okay, I missed. Or he sidestepped it. <clears throat> Couldn't really tell there. I'm not scared of challenge, Gloria. That's light work, baby. Everyone is figuring out how good Osas is, man. And it's just every game, <laughs> it feels like. I'm going to go for a flank mid-range play here to try to give us a little bit of an advantage if I can. How did you just know? What? What am I playing? I mean, the jig is up. I literally can't. And then the drone, bro. Okay, never mind. Can't flank that this team. Goodness. Your progress has reached fifty percent. It's a good ultimate usage by him, but Oh, triple headshot to kill her out of her alt. That's disgusting. That is disgusting, bro. Can you push the payload though? I'm trying to, I'm making plays. Hey, someone get on this payload, bro. I heard his footsteps. Hear me 
Did I not hit her? You just... Ooh? Interesting. I don't know how that ultimate didn't, like, kill her. I'm pretty sure I... I can't even remember what happened in that exchange, to be honest. But we have a pretty big lead here. So I'm not tripping. GG's, I don't think Osas can make an appearance. Let's go. Victory. Quick and easy, baby.